Hey everyone, I'm astronomer John Reed, and this is part two of our observatory build series. In our last video, we removed the telescope, the mount, and the pier from the Stillwater Lake location. We took some measurements, and now it's time to build the foundation for our new structure here on this rock at Stargaze, Nova Scotia. Let's get started. This is Learn to Stargaze. What I think we should start with is actually framing out the perimeter of the floor. Um, and then what we'll be able to do is set the sauna tubes um, where they need to be relative to that perimeter. You know what step one actually is? Is removing these chairs. Now that we've made a basic square, what we need to do is effectively choose where the observatory goes. Now this is not the floor, it's literally just the outline so that we know where to place the sauna tubes and the post bases. All right, so these are the supports for the front wall. Basically what you do is you drill a one inch hole in the stone, this will go in the hole, and then these post supports will go in like this, and then we can use this bolt to adjust the sizing and the height accordingly. All we're doing here is determining where the holes go. Uh, these boards all get replaced with floor joists later on. All right, we've got the form laid out exactly where we want it. Now is the time to mark the spots and drill the holes. There's the bit. We've got a square and the hypotenuse is 182. So what I think we should do is mark the center at 91 inches and then back off at four points about seven to eight inches, and that's where we should drill some holes for um, some rebar. Now that the frame is square, we know exactly where our sauna tubes belong. So we're gonna do two pieces of rebar about 10 inches down in each sauna tube, and that should hold them in place. Today we are going to be working on the wiring. We've got the rain sensors, the wind sensors, the cloud sensors, the dome cameras, and the all sky camera all to take apart today. And all the wiring that's in the observatory needs to be boxed up and labeled so that when we rebuild the observatory at Big Lake, it'll all come back together, hopefully without much issue. The way it knows where it is, is with these UPC codes. And somewhere along the edge, you've got a grocery store scanner that is reading these codes. Then you've also got some sensors here that tell the dome when it's in its home position. What we need to be able to do is disconnect the structure here from this part of the dome. So here we've got a USB hub. Now a lot of this gear was old and it's actually coming in in VGA in these old cables here with actual like telephone line <laughs> cables here. All right, so we're on our last wire in this USB VGA hub here. And this wire leads outside. So let's see where it goes. There we go. Cloud sensor. We looked in this drawer and we've got a thermostat connected to a light bulb. Well, if you think you know why a thermostat would be connected to a light bulb, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Sudden downpour. So we just picked up our sauna tube, which will become the pier that will go in the center of the observatory. Now it's time to set the sauna tubes in place. And so we're gonna have to completely rebuild this framing to hold these sauna tubes exactly where they need to be. Now all we need to do is secure this so it doesn't move, which is a bit of a challenge because everywhere is simply exposed granite. The only thing I can think of to do is brace it with a 45 degree angle board here and create this plate that we're gonna drill into the granite. We'll take our final measurement to make sure that the platform is completely square. That should make our platform secure for the concrete pour.
Okay, so we figured out the height of our telescope concrete pier, 53 inches or four feet, five inches. My saw is not rusty. It's just, uh, it's, it's, it, this saw is rusty. That was our rough cut. We left it an inch longer so that we can now contour this end of it to the ground. All right, we're here in the backyard and our goal today is to build a template for this pier so that it can sit on our concrete pier. And we're gonna build a template out of this wood, drill some holes to the exact specifications and then um, put it together. Let's go do it. Moment of truth. Hey, 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 there we go. All right, so now we're gonna do something a little bit fun and a little bit sketchy. I've got a two inch hole saw here. Whew, scary. And what we're gonna do is drill two holes into the tube here because we need to run these pipes inside the tube before we pour the concrete. And these will handle the data and the power in separate tubes so that there won't be wires running outside of the pier. Liam had some objections, but uh, I think we should just go for it. That's a work, right? I think so. forever. All right, so we're back at Stargaze, Nova Scotia, ready to get this pier ready for the concrete pour, unless we really uh, frame that tube up really well. Uh, there's a risk that it could tip over with the weight of all the concrete in there. All right, so I think we've got this braced in pretty well. Now it's time to pour. And just a reminder that this project is primarily funded through the sale of our stargazing guidebooks. Mainly 110 things to see with a telescope, a kid's guide to the night sky, and of course, 50 things to see with a telescope for kids. I'll post some links in the description. You can also find us on Patreon if you'd like to support us there as well. All right, back to the video. All right, today is concrete pour day. Uh, this didn't go exactly as planned. We originally planned to have you know, a, a truck come up and then ferry the concrete up you know, in a trailer behind the truck, but it seems like our hill is just too steep. So last minute, change of plans, we hired a team and they're uh, putting the concrete in with bags and a mixer. All right, so there's no water on site and it was $400 to rent a water truck for a few hours. So we are going to literally just fill up buckets with water. We've got eight buckets, so that's about 320 pounds worth of water. Let's do it. Document history here. What's your name? Will Stewart. Will Stewart, and we got Justin Daly. Justin Daly. You guys are doing an amazing job. As I mentioned before, this isn't any ordinary observatory. In 2010, a girl named Catherine Gray made history by becoming the youngest person ever to discover a supernova. At just 10 years old, she achieved this remarkable feat using the Abbey Ridge Observatory. Adding to the family legacy, her younger brother discovered another supernova in 2013, becoming the youngest person to do so, surpassing his sister by just 33 days. 
Stories like these are what make the ARO so special, and we feel privileged to continue that legacy at Stargaze Nova Scotia. So it's been 48 hours since we poured the concrete. It's obviously not fully cured, but it is time to take the sauna tubes off. So we found out why there was a thermostat connected to a light bulb. And originally there was a computer in here and the light bulb was the heat source to keep the computer warm in the winter. And so the thermostat would tell it uh, when to turn the light on and heat the computer up. So next time we just need to release the dome, remove the weather stripping, and then we should be able to lift this off. Hey everyone, thanks for being a member of the End of the Video Club. As you may know, watching to the end of a YouTube video really helps us out as creators, allowing this video to be shown to more people. If you'd like to get advance notice of live streams and upcoming releases of our stargazing guidebooks, be sure to sign up for our mailing list at learntostargaze.com. Once you sign up, you'll get a note from me and a free stargazing logbook to track your progress. Note that there may be a bit of delay since I'm new to the mailing list thing and I'm currently personally emailing out the logbooks. Anyway, be sure to subscribe to Learn to Stargaze to take your stargazing experience to the next level, and remember, the future is looking up.